Hi, I'm Zhou Xiang from UIC. Here I'm happy to talk about our paper, Jordan and Dito, Network Adaptive Efficient Consensus with Asynchronous Fallback at FC. This is joint work with Rati, Lefteris, Alberto, and Alexander. So the motivation of this work is for the permission blockchain where the state machine replication or SMR is an essential building component. Examples include Steam and Hyperledger. But if we look at the state of the art state machine application protocols, some of them are efficient under good networks, but they lose liveness under bad networks, while some of them are always robust and live under bad, work, bad networks but they are not efficient enough under the good network. Also, these protocols are not adaptive to the network conditions. So we want to ask this question in this paper, can we get the best of both worlds? So as mentioned before, if we look at existing SMR protocols, there is hot stuff, which is a partially synchronous protocol that has an uh, optimistic linear fast pass under optimistic conditions such as a uh, synchronous network and no failure. However, under asynchrony, it will pay quadratic cost to replace the leader. And moreover, if during long periods of asynchrony, the protocol cannot make any progress. On the other hand, there are asynchronous protocols like VABA they can always make progress even under asynchrony. However, it will always pay the more expensive quadratic cost even under optimistic conditions. So the main results of this paper is a protocol called DITO that can get the best of both worlds, meaning it can also have an optimistic linear fast pass under optimistic conditions and it pays the same quadratic cost under asynchrony as the best asynchronous protocols like VABA. Moreover, it can always guarantee the liveness and it is adaptive to the uh, network conditions. So there are two ways to interpret this uh, protocol. One way is we are adding an asynchronous fallback to the partially synchronous protocols like hot stuff so that we can make it live even under asynchrony. Or you can understand it as we are adding a fast synchronous pass to any asynchronous protocols like VABA so that we can make it more efficient under optimistic conditions. So before going to our protocol, I would like to first give you some background about hot stuff or DIM BFT, which is the production version of the hot stuff. So as mentioned, it has an optimistic linear pass under synchrony and no failures. So this protocol is a partial synchronous protocol. So it tolerates uh, the optimal number of faults and needs 3F plus one nodes. So in this example, there are four nodes and the last node is Byzantine. So this protocol is a leader-based protocol and use rotating leaders. So in the first round, let's say the leader is the first node, it will propose its block of some round R to all the other nodes. And after receiving the leader's proposal, all the nodes will send its vote to the next leader, which is L2. And after gather enough signatures of these votes, the second leader will form a current certificate, or QC, which consists of M minus F um, vote signatures from different nodes. And it will attach this QC to its new block proposal of round R plus one and send the new block to everyone. Then again, all the nodes will vote for the new block and send the vote to the next leader, 
L3. And again, the new leader gathers all the votes, forms a QC, and sends its new proposal. So if the network is asynchronous, then the cost of the protocol become quadratic. In DMBFT, when the network is asynchronous and some messages is delayed, the timer at each node will expire and the nodes will time out the current round by broadcasting a timeout messages. Once re they receive enough timeout messages, they will form something called timeout certificate, which consists of a minus F timeout signatures from different nodes and use that as a proof that the current round should be expired then they will remove uh, they will move to the next round and continue the synchronous fast pass so due to this or to all broadcasting of timeouts the quadratic uh, the asynchronous pass has quadratic cost however during long periods of asynchrony the node will always time out and move to the next round without satisfying any blocks. Then the protocol does not make progress and has no liveness guarantees. In some other cases, maybe blocks are certified, but there are no three consecutive blocks on the chain. Again, according to the commit rule of hot stuff, the protocol cannot commit any blocks. Meanwhile, if we look at the asynchronous world, there are many asynchronous SMR protocols, such as VABA, Honey Badger, BFT, BIT, and Dumbo. So these protocols do not assume message delay bound, and there is no timeout in their protocols. So they can always make progress under asynchrony, but they are less e efficient compared to partial synchronous protocols. One example of asynchronous protocol is called VABA. So it's an asynchronous Byzantine agreements protocol and it's randomized uh, in order to circumvent the FLP result. So it's a single shot Byzantine agreements and has quadratic cost for each agreement instances. So the illustration is like the right figure but I will not go into the agreement version of VABA. Instead, we will first turn VABA into a chain BFT that is similar to the hot stuff. So we call it chain VABA. It starts by other nodes acting as the leader and building its own hot stuff chain. So there will be n parallel hot stuff chains built by each node. When node's hot stuff chain is low enough, it will broadcast its last QC of its own hot stuff chain and wait for enough QCs. Once it gets a minus F such QCs from different chains, it knows there are enough hot stuff chains being built. Then they will run a leader election protocol and select one chain randomly as the leader chain. So for example, here the last chain is elected as the leader chain. Then the node will exchange what they know about the leader chain, such as which is the last latest QC among the leader chains. And so this step is very similar to the pacemaker of hot stuff when the nodes attach their highest QC and timeout messages uh, during their view synchronization. So after receiving such messages, um, nodes will start building unparalleled hot stuff chains again, extending from the latest block uh, of the leader's chain. Then all the nodes will do the same thing again elect one leader chain and continue from there, and so on and so forth. So for each elected leader chain, there are constant probability that the protocol can make progress.
Now let's describe Ditto, which is a combination of hot stuff and chain baba. So the way we just described chain baba is already very similar to with hot stuff. So the combination intuitively is quite straightforward. So under synchrony, our Ditto protocol works similar to hot stuff and builds one chain with rotating leaders. Then when the network is asynchronous or the leader is bad, the nodes will time out and broadcast the timeout messages attaching the highest QC they know about the hot stop chain. Then once enough timeout messages are received, the nodes starts asynchronous fallback by building its VABA chain, extending the highest QC they know. Similar to chain VABA, once enough VABA chain is built, the nodes will exchange uh, their highest QC and run a leader election to randomly pick one chain as the fallback chain and then go back to build the hot stuff chain extending the fallback leader's chain. So this is a very high level overview of our protocol. There are some missing details to make the protocol safe and live, but due to the time limit, I will not go over the details here. So for anyone interested, you can look at our uh, full paper. Now let's briefly argue the correctness intuitions of our protocol detail. So to, to argue correctness, we need to show the protocol is safe meaning all the honest nodes will always commit the same block at the same height and it, the protocol is live, meaning all the honest nodes will keep committing new blocks. So for the safety, uh, the Ditto always follow the safety rules of Hostel, including the voting rule, two-chain locking rule, and three-chain commit rule. So, so in Ditto, the synchronous pass the asynchronous path or the transition from synchrony to asynchrony and asynchrony back to synchrony, all these uh, parts will follow the safety rules of hot stuff. Then similarly, we can argue the safety uh, guarantees. Now for liveness, um, our protocol will ensure that one of the paths is a synchronous path or the asynchronous fallback will have enough nodes so that uh, it will always make progress and not getting stuck. So the way we guarantee this is we'll divide the protocol into different views and for each view if the nodes time out the synchronous path it will enter the asynchronous, asynchronous path and will not go back to the synchronous path of the same view. So then eventually either the synchronous paths always make progress or all the nodes will enter the asynchronous path, path and make progress and then enter the next view at the synchronous path of the next view. So the data will always make progress. So in terms of efficiency in the synchronous path, it has linear communication as the hot same as the hot stuff. And for the asynchronous path, it has a quadratic cost same as Baba. So one thing I want to mention is that we are not only just combining two protocols in an organic way, but we also improve the concrete latencies of both synchronous and asynchronous passes. So what we do here is we first improve the round complexity of both Hotstuff and Baba respectively, then combine the improved versions of both protocols to get Ditto. So as a result, our Ditto has better round complexity of Hotstuff or Baba. So we call these uh, five round Hotstuff protocol we get um, Jotun. We implemented and evaluated our protocols. So the Ditto is implemented in Rust on top of a 
High Performance Host of Codebase. You use real cryptography, networking, and storage layer, and we run experiments across five different AWS regions. So what we want to show from the experiment is Ditto is as good as hot stuff in the common good case, and Ditto is as good as Baba in the bad case when the network is asynchronous. So first, let's look at the evaluation results in the good case. So here, this figure shows a latency throughput trade-off graphs of hot stuff, Ditto, and Baba of different number of nodes. So here, as we can see from the saturating point of these L graphs, the Ditto has very close performance to hot stuff in the good case. So this means hot stuff, uh, Ditto is as good as hot stuff with the network synchronous and the nodes, the leaders are honest. Then we can also see the curve of VABA. It has worse performance compared to hot stuff or, or Ditto. So this means under the optimistic cases, VABA will pay higher cost and performance worse. Now let's look at the performance of three protocols in the bad case. So in the bad case, we will manually delay the leader's messages in all three protocols. Here, we, are, we also show the latency throughput channel graphs. And as we can see, the performance of Ditto is again close to VABA in the back case. So here, for the 15 nodes curve, the latency of Ditto is slightly worse than VABA. It is because in order to enter the asynchronous fallback, the Ditto will need to wait for timeouts to timeout the synchronous pass. So the latency will be slightly higher than VABA. Now, if we look at the hot stuff, because in the back is when the leader always timeout, there is no performance, no Leibniz guarantees. So the hot stuff performance will drop to zero in this case. So the experimental results demonstrate our theoretical analysis of the protocols, and indeed our digital protocol can get the best of both worlds. At the end, I want to summarize our results of this paper. So we present protocol Ditto, which is a protocol that has optimistic linear fast pass and quadratic asynchronous fallback that can always provide liveness even on the asynchrony. So Ditto get the best of both worlds compared to partial synchronous protocols like hot stuff or asynchronous protocols like VABA. Moreover, we concretely improve the latency of hot stuff and VABA respectively and then combine the improved version to get our protocol Ditto. So the synchronous and asynchronous paths will have concretely better round complexities compared to hot stuff and bubble. So now th this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.